finest cell swords in store. Fuck. How the hell did they find? Gentlemen of the town guard us back. Mummy. What a mess. Where do we even start? You fought very bravely. The safety of the town is in our hands. Time to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death? Or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. <laughs> Leave now, and we can pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> Yeah. 
act on it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone, before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goots. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them honorable lies about Nan! Huh. Well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Goose, are you all right? <laughs> He... He's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in me fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants-pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You... you bitch! Everything that happened... It was all your fault! And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me! Yep. If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Oh, fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, eh? Wise words. And now it's time to collect. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. 
Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What well, if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta-ra! Ah, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen.